Hi, I'm April Perry from Power of Moms, and if your house is crazy with papers like mine is sometimes, I just thought I'd offer a few tips to help you out. So tip number one is when my children come home from school, we ask them to put all of their papers into one pile. Typically we keep this on our kitchen counter and it just helps me so that each day I can initially go through this pile and pull out anything that we really need. And then tip number two is that we recycle most of it. Hopefully most of you are doing that as well. Getting rid of probably about 90% of the papers each day. Going through it quickly and then sending them to the recycle bin. Tip number three is that we use what's called a sneaky sorter. This is our actual sneaky sorter which is totally full right now. I keep these two baskets in my laundry room and this basket is for the papers that I'm most likely going to keep permanently and this basket is for the papers I'm most likely going to be throwing away. And so by keeping it in sneaky sorter, then if a child asks about a paper in here, I can pull it out and I have it for a little while. Otherwise, at the end of the semester or at the end of the school year, we recycle everything in this one, do a final sort of this one, and then we can pull out the very best papers. Okay, tip number four is we have a box for each child and they have one box that lasts for every five years of their life. So the idea is that when each of our children leave the home, they will have about four boxes that have their very best papers, their little school bus, their calendars, pictures, all the things that they might want to keep. So we have a little banker box and we'll, at the end of the school year, we come and we go through these papers and we put the ones that are the best in these boxes. Okay, and then tip number five is that we take everything else that's maybe really nice that they worked hard on, did a great job on, but we don't want to keep, and we take pictures. So the children will take a camera and they'll go outside and they'll take pictures of their very best papers so they'll have them to show their children someday. So those are just a few tips from Power of Moms. Hope that's helpful to you, and we'd love to hear your comments and ideas as well. Thanks, you, and visit us at www.powerofmoms.com.